Gamer Subdivision, I'm Ian, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the new arrivals uh, since my last arrival video, or mail call video. Um, I've added two engines and 16 pieces of rolling stock uh, since then. Um, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the Reading and Northern Broadway Limited 462 Light Pacific. And uh, unfortunately, I have a couple clips that I did record when I first got it. Um, it was running kind of rough and it's going to have to be sent back to Broadway Limited because the it's tripping the circuit protector on the ESU system. So I'm assuming that the um, factory decoder shorted out. So hopefully we'll get that back shortly. Um, but let's take a look at that locomotive and then we'll get back into looking at some of the other things. Okay guys, so that was the Broadway Limited uh, version of the 425, uh, the Ready Northern 462 Light Pacific. It took me a bit <clears throat> to be able to record just those little clips that you saw. The locomotive was super finicky, it did not want to operate, and then it completely stopped working altogether. Um, I've contacted Broadway Limited and we'll be sending it out uh, sometime shortly for them to take a look at it and repair it. So moving along, the reason we're standing over here in front of that calendar is there's a locomotive right there that we're going to take a look at so I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera and we're going to go ahead and just turn here nice and slow and this is a Norfolk Southern SD70M number 2591 Cotto actually makes this locomotive and it was the first end scale decent locomotive I ever owned I bought it 11 years ago and unfortunately I sold all my stuff I had at that time other than a few pieces of rolling stock. So I came across one of these and went ahead and purchased it. So let's take a look at that locomotive pulling out the new rolling stock. Okay so here's the last locomotive that was purchased uh, since my last video and that's this SD70M I mentioned from Norfolk Southern by Cotto. Um, as you can see, like in the picture, um, these were the only NS locomotives that I'm aware of that had the white right here around the, the, the cab windows, which I always thought was really neat. And you could see that on that picture that this model has a prototypical paint job with that. So it matches up really good. And the other thing I always liked about the SD70Ms is that they have the not all of them, but some of them had this uh, flared radiator, which this model has. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this forward. Nine of the new hopper cars I got, or um, nine of the new pieces of rolling stock, are these iron ore cars. Um, I really think they're a neat car, and they make a neat train. They never really ran in northeastern PA that I'm aware of. Um, but they're fun to look at and I think they need to make a neat train so I went ahead and got all nine of these for a really really good deal um, 
because I bought all nine of them from one guy. So we're going to go ahead and pull up past these so we can get to the next cars. So there go the hopper, or the, I don't know why I keep calling them hopper cars or ore cars. That brings us to two micro trains, um, gondola cars, uh, a Reading and a Frisco. I bought both of those together. Um, and going back to the ore cars, they're all Atlas um, ore cars. So there's the gondolas, and we're going to keep going forward. And we come to the single dome tank car. That is a micro trains. Um, it's a UTLX. And it's uh, the Union Tank Car Company. That comes to the 89 foot flat car. And that's an Erie Western. And that's micro trains as well. The next car is a train works um, hot coal hopper for the Reading Northern. But these were their QIT <clears throat> service coal cars, and I believe they were used for um, export shipment of coal. So trains that were going to be exported out of the country, I, I believe. I could be wrong. Maybe somebody can, maybe somebody knows and they can correct me if I'm wrong. But after that, we come to the weathered micro trains uh, Golden West Services uh, three bay covered hopper. And the last car there is a 60 foot excess height um, micro trains in the Grand Trunk scheme. So that is the new rolling stock and that will do for that. There's one more thing we need to look at that I added. I just got to take the camera out of here. I'm going to come down below the viaduct and I added one of these train works golf Peter built with the tanker trailer because I thought it was a really cool addition and the train works trucks go through the roof um, after they're not in stock in the hobby stores anymore so I figured if I wanted one I better get it now so I thought that was a nice little addition for down the road for a scene so that will bring us to the new rolling stock the We'll just go buy everything quick here. You got the SD70M by Kato. The ore cars. We got Minnesota Smelting, Thunder Bay Mining, Northern Pacific, Thunder Bay Mining. Um, LS and I, I cannot pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try to. Burlington and Northern, Great Northern. And another or two Burlington Northerns. And then the Reading, the Frisco, the UTLX, the Erie Western 89 foot flat car, the Reading Blue Mountain Northern coal car, the Golden West weathered cover hopper, and Micro Trains Grand Trunk box car.